These are wind water pumps and they have been installed here for over 10 years now. They are used to pump the water necessary to irrigate onion farm fields and other crops that are cultivated in this region here. As you can see, they, all, they only work by using wind. They don't consume any electrical power. They don't have the battery. They don't have electrical motors. And they are also very clean as they don't consume fossil fuels that emit a lot of CO2 as other traditional gasoline or diesel water pump do. So today in this video we are going to see in details how this wind water pump works, how they are made in real life and how they are installed. So stay with me till the end of this video because we are going to learn a lot of stuff about how wind water pumps works and operate. By, and by the way, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about them at the end of the video. So as the wind blows, the kinetic energy of the wind is captured by the windmills that are installed on the lone metal tower. And then the rotational motion of the windmills are get converted to linear motion that moves the piston rod up and down as you can see it here. In these modules, how rotary motion is converted to a linear motion. I've put a link in the description in case that you want to design such gear system by yourself. You can check that later. And you see a lot of reflective methods on how to convert a rotary motion to a linear motion. This is just one of the methods. So you can see it here as the wind blow up faster and faster, the up and down motion also become faster and faster and therefore the water pumping will also become more faster. So you can sit here, after that the whole system sits inside a special gearbox as you can sit here and the metal rod will run flexibly from the top to the bottom where our water pump will be installed. So this is just a mechanism animation that you, you, can, you can understand how a rotary motion is converted into a linear motion. So now let's try to get inside of the system and uh, as you can see it here from outside it is spilling out a lot of water so let's try to get inside here. So here is where our water pump sits and uh, as you can see it how it pumps out the water. In case that you don't understand how the whole pumping mechanism works then you see this next part where I will explain in detail how the pump is made and how it works. So basically we can see of the pump cylinder as this small cylinder here and as you can see it here as you move the piston up and down you suck and blow out the water but the problem here is that you don't only move the water from one place to another but also you move it with your pump and this is not acceptable as you will be pumping water and also will be pumping out the pump. So, to avoid that, two valves are installed in the cylinder. So, here we are going to drill a little bit of hole alongside this cylinder. And then we are going to install the bicycle valve in an outlet direction to make sure that the water will only get out of this valve, but it will not get in. And this will be our first valve. As you can see it here. Then we are going to use some super glue to seal everything together to make sure that it does not leak out any air or any water. You can see the direction in which I've installed my valve. It's in an outlet direction. That is our first valve. So I make this model to show you in real life how the water pump is made because I could just make a simple animation but some stuff that you see in animation does not work well as in real life. So, as you can see it here, after our super glue has, has already cured, as I try to pull up this syringe, it does not, it creates some vacuum that indicates that the seal is well made and there is no any leakage. So, we are going to install our second valve. And you are going to install the, that inlet valve in a direction that only allows air and water to get in and the, it does not allow the air and water to get out. So you can see the orientation 
of my two valves. The first one is an inlet valve at the bottom and the second one is an outlet valve at the top. So if you are going to design a pump, make sure that you install the valves in a correct orientation and if you don't do so, the pump will not work. So now let's see how it works in action. So what really happens here is that as I move the syringe up, the downward valve opens and allows the water to get inside while the sideway valve closes. And as I try to push the piston down, the sideway valve will open while the down valve will close. And therefore the water will move on other direction. And this will make sure that there is a continuous flow of water from one point to another. So this is how a water pump works, how a wind water pump works. So I hope that that model that I made has helped you to understand how the wind water pump works. But in real life, everything is scaled up. We can't use such small valves. Everything is big, including the water pipes, the valves, the syringe, the rubbers. Everything is scaled up in order to provide enough water for any economic use. So, let's get to the sponsor of today's videos, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes ranging from animation, graphic designs, illustration, film making, in engineering or any other class that you want to learn you can see here there are a lot of classes that i have already taken aerospace engineering introduction to electrical engineering electrical circuits understanding of a language heat exchanger series of electronic electrical engineering any kind of class that you want to learn you can click the link in the description and get a certain percentage of of your annual subscription you can see it here one of the classes that i have already took about hydroelectric power that has helped me to understand Lights, how the wind water pump axle, works mixed, so you type can see it here and the three most common types of turbine used in the so you can see it here silshare has got also a mobile app for those that use a mobile device you can install Skillshare application by using the link in the description below and to get a certain percentage of and also a free trial. So this is one of the classes that I have took about hydroelectric power. You can see it the way you navigate around the application. You can use the knowledge gained from this course to understand the working concepts behind combustion turbines and steam turbines. So if you want to learn about hydroelectric power plants, how they work, the terminology and the components involved... So in Sklisha you can learn a lot of stuff from a mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, hydroelectric power engineering, wind water pumps, physics, a computer science, video editing, animation, any kind of class that you want to take, business or any kind of class that you in, might interest you you can search it on Skillshare it's different from YouTube because the content on Skillshare are well arranged and you don't have to find it that hard as you do on YouTube the classes on Skillshare are well arranged and the price are very cheap so I highly recommend you to Download the Skillshare by using the link in the description below to get a free trial. If you don't use my link, you will not get a free trial and start a percentage off. So, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Enjoy.